All right, so what I've, I've been doing is I've been playing around with Desmos and I was curious about taking derivatives. And so um, Desmos will actually calculate a derivative if you use the DDX notation. In other words, if I define a function and I'm, I just have sine of x in here to define the function, then I can reassign g of x to be ddx of f of x, which is f prime or the derivative, right? And what's nice about that is that I could put in any function. So if I say 2x um, squared, um, notice that it, it graphs a linear function. So it, it's pretty nice. It just it creates um, the function. Um, and the derivative. So I like to turn that off, though, but it's there. It creates the derivative. So then I thought to myself, can I use Desmos to actually graph the tangent line? And then I, I if I'm honest, I got a little, I got a little, uh, I was a little confused or trying to figure out how to do it because I have x as a value. But then if you take the point slope form, right, because we all know that the slope of the tangent line is the slope or it's the derivative evaluated at a certain value for x. So when you take and you put that in the point slope form, you would get y equals the, the slope, which is really the derivative evaluated at a number, um, times x minus x sub 1. And then when you subtract y sub 1, which is really f of x sub 1, um, this gives you the tangent line. So this is my tangent line. Um, and then what I did was, is I put a slider in and I use x sub 1 as the value that we were evaluating everything at. And as you can see, there was a tangent line. And then really, to do the normal line, it's the same thing, except remember that for the normal line, it's the negative reciprocal for your slope. So I just put a negative reciprocal in there. And, uh, you know, by, by taking my derivative, evaluated at that value, and then putting it under 1 and then taking the negative of it, then that gives me the normal line. And then I just put a slider in here, um, and then the slider, um, depending on the value of x, everything's dependent upon the value of x. So that that's how you do that. And then also I labeled um, x comma f of x sub 1. So x sub 1 comma f of x sub 1, and that just gives me the value um, as I slide the slider. So anyways, I'm going to put the link for this. Um, Desmos calculator, I'm just going to put it in the description and then you can play around with it.